the building will be prefabricated on the mainland and then shipped to the island of Hawaii. There we want it to be just bolted together, so rather than requiring on-site welding, we have steel bolting plates figured out at each of the connection points so that it's all easily assembled without uh, special equipment on site. So the house is bunkered into the landscape in a way that opens it to this roaring seasonal stream that comes down through the valley on the south side of the building. The north side of the house is very protected from the strong winds and is um, cut into the hillside. The whole house follows the stream bed and looks out in a sweeping view from the ocean to this kind of desert landscape with volcanoes. And then through the clear story windows in the back, you look straight up to a, a narrow band of view of the high mountains to the north of the building. The project is all about having a large um, shade roof that goes across the whole structure, providing both indoor and outdoor shaded spaces. And the building has no fixed walls or minimal fixed walls so that every room can open and close to create uh, continuous long rooms or small individual private rooms or to expand the doors out beyond the interior module to create larger interior, exterior rooms. So once we've figured out what the essential elements are of the individual module, we work on putting these together as a series. A few number of repetitive pieces that can be strung together into an overall composition. So now we've moved from the overall conceptual structure of the project into figuring out all of the details. One of the challenges here is that because of the sliding doors, we have to offset the, the beams that hold up the, the tracks for the doors from the steel columns. The beams are offset and bypass each other so that the doors slide through each other and allow the, the range of flexibility that we want in the structure. The most complicated Part of the project is the connection of the steel vertical column to the offset beam structure that holds up the, the door tracks. Rather than using single beam elements, we use channel sections of an offset dimension so that it would create a, a pocket for the, the door track and create a closing point so that the wind wouldn't go between the track. The physical models have been a very important communication tool with the fabricators and with various contractors and steel assembly uh, people so that we could get lots of opinions about the most cost effective way to do the fabrication, the most effective way to do the installation on site.
the next complex issues to connect the secondary structural elements such as the shade roof, the insulation panels, the spanning, the waterproof roof structure and the sliding doors themselves and the various finish systems, figuring out how to connect those to the, uh, the frame. And the physical model is essential in testing how all of these pieces go together and figuring out the assembly process as well as just the, um, the finished fit of the, the pieces. The other aspect of this that's very important is to be able to explain the overall project to the general contractor, the client, and the individual subcontractors working on the, the project. The overall model is especially useful in talking to the excavator who's doing the, um, the grading on site. The house is very much about uh, nestling into the existing topography, so we have to be careful not to disturb too far beyond the edges of the house and we need to explain exactly how each of the flat pads fits into the overall landscape without doing overall damage to the site.